This one is called 999 Tadpoles by Ken Kimura, illustrated by Yasunari Murakami. And this is just the season when tadpoles might be turning into frogs. 999 tadpoles. One warm spring day, 999 tadpoles were born. Although they were tiny, they were full of energy. Mother and father frog were very proud. The 999 tadpoles grew and grew and grew until one day they grew into frogs. Now the pond was too small for them. We can't move, one called. We can't breathe, called another. Don't push, called a third. We have a situation here, said father. We'll have to move, said mother. So, 999 young frogs scrambled to get out of the pond. Shh, said mother, the world is a dangerous place. You must be careful. Follow your father, said mother. So 999 young frogs followed their father across the field. But no matter how far they went, all they saw was more grass. When will we get there? asked one. I'm hungry, said another. I'm tired, said a third. Keep hopping, said father, or a scary snake might get you. What's a snake? asked the frog children. A snake can eat a whole frog in just one swallow, said father. It has a very big mouth and a very long tongue. Like this, said the children. Oh, no. Yes, said father. The snake was sleeping peacefully. It must have just eaten. Run for your lives, said father. Quick, before the snake wakes up. So, 999 young frogs ran for their lives across the field. They didn't notice a hungry hawk flying over their heads. Then the hawk swooped down and grabbed father. Let me go, cried father. Not a chance, said the hawk, and he rose into the sky. Let him go, cried mother, and she grabbed onto father's leg. Let them go, cried 999 young frogs, and they grabbed on too. Why is this frog getting so heavy, the hawk wondered, and he looked back. Wow, he was carrying a whole year's supply of frogs. He was so pleased he flew even higher. The 999 young frogs loved it. This is great, said one. What of you, said another. Whee, said a third. Mother and father were not so enthusiastic. They were worried about falling. Don't let go, warned mother. No matter what, added father. The hawk flew on and on. The 999 young frogs were getting restless. I'm hungry, said one. When will we get there, asked another. I'm tired, said a third. The 999 young frogs began to wiggle, and every time one wiggled, the hawk swerved. Hang in there, hawk, said father. Don't let us go. But the hawk couldn't hold on any longer. Ah! Father cried. Mother and father and 999 young frogs fell down from the sky. Splash, 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 splash. Mother and father and 999 young frogs fell into a pond, a big pond. It's cool, said one. It's wet, said another. It's home, said the third. And that is how mother and father and their 999 young frogs found a new home. For all I know, they're still there singing ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. And that is the end of 999 tadpoles.